she said it was all. It's recording now. Man, we're 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 like we're all this uh, money coming from the state. What's that? Oh. Uh. But they are trying to push that uh vibration for war now. Like they got. I mean, it's crazy, man. How every time they push a war, the Union of Patriots is running the playoffs. Oh right? uh, yeah, yeah. I New noticed that. What is that? That 9/11 shit. It was New England. New they England won England three in a row. Yep. Like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Damn, they were three in a row. Yep. It was almost. Three in it was row. two in a row. Yeah. They lost that season, yeah. then the next season they won. Yeah. yeah. And they won on some bullshit too. They should have lost that Raiders yeah, game. Yeah, the Raiders game. They got robbed. In the in the snow, the blizzard. Yeah, they got robbed, man. Because Tom Brady did that. That they said was it a pass? Well, he got yeah. robbed. And yeah. even yeah. Brady pretty much admitted yeah. being sarcastic. That it, you know he knew it was bullshit. There was Auden. another incident on there uh, had something to do up. with a field goal. I know Vinatieri. Or something was trying to get a field goal. Something. I know Vinatieri nailed that field goal in the damn blizzard. Yeah, that, that, was a, that was the most amazing kick I've ever seen. Talking about some goddamn football. Ugh. But that's they all people care about is football, yeah. He said hell Satan. He said hell Satan? Yeah. That's what these people, they can worry about and say hell Satan. But he probably <laughs> actually <laughs> worships Satan. Yeah, he he, he 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 was into it too much. He, he said it twice. He had his hand all up, all <laughs> like all. <laughs> Let me tell you what this world has come to. You think like two hundred, like even fifty years ago, you could get by with yelling hell Satan? You would have got your ass beat. Don't you know that? The cops would have stopped you. Beat Those your ass Waldo, for saying hell Satan. Waldo. Huh? I finally found Waldo. <laughs> yeah, but if you would have yelled hell Satan a hundred years ago, you would have got the shit beat out of you. That shit would not fly. But this shit don't got so out of control. People were raw rolling down the street, yelling hell Satan, a Bible teacher. What the fuck is going on out here, man? That's crazy. Bunch of goddamn devils. What the fuck is he listening to? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can't even joke and say that shit. Just like they got over there in Oklahoma. Right. What's that, Oklahoma? They got, uh... Statue. Yeah, the Church of Satan. They, they're building a, uh, the Baphomet statue next to the Ten Commandments. Well, somebody, a, a Satan worshiper, ran over the Ten Commandments with his car. And he said Satan told him to do it in his head. He said Satan, he heard Satan's voice in his head and it told him to destroy the Ten Commandments. And that's, you can't make it up. That's, that's... And they're actually saying that the Church of Satan has the right to put a Baphomet statue up in public. Are you fucking serious? You should be put to death for even suggesting such a thing. Once you find out, did, did you remember what happened up in the Salem witch trials? They thought those bitches were witches, so they killed them hoes. They took that shit serious. They, they, they fucked them hoes up. Just like King James. If King James find out you was practicing witchcraft or you worship the devil, you got burnt at the stake. Okay, no, there wasn't no free. Oh, you got the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion. You got the freedom to get your ass burnt. You know. You know what I'm saying? Shit went on. We could ask Saul when he uh, when he went to wake up uh, uh, Samuel, and he went to the witch. That witch was terrified, man. She was like, "You ain't gonna put me to death, if I, you know." Oh yeah. Cause she, yeah, right. She know who you are. You got intelligence. Got eye on your head. Go and just do what I'm telling you to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? And she actually did. She summoned Samuel. Yeah. Samuel woke up pissed off. Why the fuck you wake me up from my sleep for? <laughs> nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did you wake me up from my sleep for, nigga? Could you just tell me, Samuel? Come on, man. The most I gonna give me favor back. Yeah, right. You know, I'm saying it so the niggas can understand. Naysayers, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so they can understand it. Yeah, that's when that's when he, uh, yeah, that was our scripture where he pretty much told uh, Saul, like, don't even worry about it because <laughs> we're saying by tomorrow, you and your family, y'all gonna be with me. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> right. Kim Jong -un you can you imagine that though? <laughs> you tell him, he tell you, he wake up, you wake him up from the dead just to hear you hear him say, oh, you gonna be dead too. Right, Nick. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nick. That's your reward for waking yeah. me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I can imagine how pissed off Samuel was, man. You know? <laughs> Especially before yeah. when he left, he was probably like a stupid ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> wicked ass. That, that seemed like a, that seemed like he was pissed off. He, he was like, like, don't worry about it. Because tomorrow you're going to be with me. Right, right. 
So that, to... that left hand power has to be real then. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. that left hand power, these people going to see uh, the bitch that reads your poem and yeah, that's yeah. just real, man. I got to bring a scripture out of the back that's with what we talking about. Uh, like the Levites with that voodoo shit. Oh, woo! And the Levites do some wicked shit. shit. Turning people into zombies and Benjamin shit. Yeah, that's some bugged out shit, man. You seen them, them zombies down there? Yeah, shit's real. Shit, you see what them Jamaican drug dealers do? They did some weird shit, too. Oh, my god. That reminds goodness. me of that movie, uh, The Serpent and the Rainbow. You see yeah, that yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. Uh, they with, buried uh, Dude Alive or some, bu there's some bugged out shit, dude, man. Dude's name. Dude I ain't seen it. In this day. I, I forget, man. It's been so long since Quaid or something. Is that him? No, no, no. Uh, Bill Pullman. Was it um, Pullman? Pullman. Some shit like it's that. been years since I he seen You played the president on Independence Day. Okay. Is that who was in there? I ain't seen that shit in like 10 years. I got it right here with Dude said, man. What you got? Bring it out. Um, this is what he read. I'm just going to read their reader. After the tape machine had been turned off, this is Dude that was, um, that was uh, interviewed. Wait, what is that about? This is, uh, what's his name again? Harold. Henry Ford? No, no, Harold. Harold Wallace oh. Rosenthal, the dude that was killed after. Oh, Rosenthal. They killed his ass immediately after this interview. Okay. Because he spoke too much truth in this interview, it's man. About the Jews? Yeah, about the Jews, right. Dear reader, after the tape machine had been turned off, I accused Harold Rosenthal of not living up to our agreement of replying truthfully to my question as to the Jews being God's chosen people. He replied, we are God's chosen people. Most Jews do not like to admit it, but our God is Lucifer. <laughs> so I wasn't lying. Lucifer. Well, when they say Lucifer, they mean Satan. They try to say Satan's mm -hmm. an angel of light. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's right. So he said, I'm, so I wasn't lying. And we are the chosen people. Lucifer is very much alive. Did you hear? I was watching that bitch on uh, YouTube. I forget her name, man. Silver something. Oh, fuck, what was that bitch's name, man? She, she's deep into the Kabbalah and shit, the Jew bitch on YouTube. Silverman? No, not Silverman. It's, uh, I forget this. She's an old Jew bitch. She look like a witch. She's real popular on YouTube. She uh, teaches the Kabbalah. Uh, but I was trolling her channel one day, but I was watching this video, and she said that Satan is misunderstood, and he's the most beautiful of all the angels. And she described that Satan will come down and... He will wrap you up and protect you and hold you in his wings and, and that's what that sounded because Satan is an angel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's right. But but they that's that's their God is Satan. That's they right. work on the left hand side and the most high. Mm -hmm. Cause you ain't supposed to worship Satan. Satan works for the most high. Those okay. people are foolish. It is. Those people are foolish. That's the scripture when the most high discussing that uh, how these devils, how how the potter, how the clay is gonna fool the potter. Right. Something like that. But well, that tells you how stupid these people in the church of Satan are. Mm -hmm. They hate the Bible so much, but they worship Satan. But hey, asshole, Satan comes from the Bible. So when you worship Satan, you're acknowledging the the, the Father anyway. Right. Because where else is Satan mentioned but the Bible? Right. You know what I mean? And like you said, he take orders from the most. He high. takes, you can read the book of Job. Yeah. In the book of Job, Satan. I was just about to get Job. Oh, uh, yeah. you read the book of Job. Oh, did you have more to that article? Was that was it? Oh, it was more, but we can okay. get it some other time. Just more. Yeah, because in the book of Job, it tells you. Give him a direct order. Well, he can just read it. <laughs> Satan reported to the most high and then did what the fuck he was told. <laughs> okay. The most high said, look, Satan. Go tempt Joe, but do not kill him. You know, I had my mom was order. and my sisters and my nephews together at one time, and I was, I was explaining to them the scripture from the yeah. Most High and, and Satan. Yeah. Man, their mouths was like, they were stuck on stupid, man. They, that was the best thing I did for them. I read it to them, they didn't know what the fuck to say. Right. You know, that, if, their whole beliefs, they threw it out the window. And another yeah. thing, too, they try to say Satan was a fallen you angel. Know, the so, the so, there's no fallen angels, but so-called, they, the, they say the angels fell from heaven before the flood of Noah. <laughs> but the book of Job is written after the flood, and Satan is in heaven, reporting to the Most High. Explain that, asshole. They can't explain that. Yeah, it don't make no sense. Job 2 and 1. Again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord. Right, that's so you know the angels. 
Well, <laughs> the angels are our brothers too, because we're the sons of the Most High also. That's right. And the angels are also the sons of the Most High, because that you know the angels are Israelites. That's right. That's that's something else a lot of people don't, they can't get. Again, like, like was, how can angels be Israelites? It doesn't make any sense. Right, right. It's great. And in Revelation, it tells you the angels are brothers and fellow servants. Go ahead. Again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And Satan came among them to present himself to present the Lord. himself. <laughs> what present? That means to stand before the Most High. He didn't say to. to <laughs> Satan came and conquered him and spit on him. And shit. If Satan was rebellious against the Most High, how come Satan ain't come up and, and try to steal his throne or fight him, pull out a sword? And you notice it didn't say nothing about what Satan came in. Right. He presented himself. Did it say, himself. Did it say the uh, <laughs> Most High Satan battled and had a boxing match? Right. right. And they, you know, when they present themselves, especially in front of royalty, they come and they drop to a knee. They drop to their yeah, knee. You know? yeah. They bow. He didn't come standing there like niggas, like yeah, damn. You know what, <laughs> what do you want? You know what I'm saying? But he, but he came and presented himself, and he was happy to do the work. Damn right. The Satan got a dirty, nasty job to do. He does it well. He loves it. Okay. He loves it. He loves it. Yeah. He's doing the work of the Father. Yeah, yeah. He's doing his dirty work. So you a goddamn fool if you worship Satan. <laughs> now you worship Satan, don't you? He looks like, like Satan. Satan. Man, I was watching the um, say the union address just the other oh, day, man. man. That was a bomb. Oh man, all I was was going through my mind that a bunch of freaks and devil worship. Devil, right. devil yeah, worship. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's all I see. Imagine too. all that negative energy just oh, sitting there, like all that. God. <laughs> they oh, probably God. sacrificed a child right before it happened. We probably get sick if we was there. We oh, probably yeah. get sick. Yeah, in probably the stomach. get nausea. And, and, yep. and yep. I thought all the I thought that, that had happened before, in, like in the area. A whole bunch of motherfuckers not feeling right, mm -hmm. getting nauseated. And I thought the Republicans took over the, 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 the House and the Senate. But everybody was cheering and applauding the president. The only, and all the Republicans was cheering him. Uh, I didn't hear no boos. No, right, yeah, yeah. Because right. they, they were on camera, they claim like they're against it. We're going to impeach him. What's the House Speaker? Uh, Boner. You see him in the back. He's clapping. <laughs> yeah, he's clapping. He's clapping. Boner claim like he against man, they're all in it together. Yeah, that's right. Just like Jesse Ventura said. Jesse Ventura said on camera, he said politics is just like professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. He said on camera, mm -hmm. they look like they're enemies, the bad guys versus the uh, the good guys. But behind closed doors, they all get drunk and fucked up together. That's they're right. all friends. Yeah. Fuck each other. What's that? Uh, each other. Senator Cuban or uh, Mark Cuban? No, uh, Ted. Ted Cruz. No. Mark Rubio. Mark, Mark Rubio. Yeah, he's been on CNN all the time. He's probably down with Obama and just oh, talking shit. Well, he talks right, shit right, about Obama. Right. right oh, right, Mark Rubio, right. he, he's a clown. Right. You know what I'm saying? This dude, he ain't no. Man, fuck all them faggots. All them politicians are a bunch of faggots and devil worshippers. Yeah, all of them in bed with each other. I got a scripture. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. And by peace, that's what the politicians do. That's all Barack Obama does is blow smoke up your ass. That's all any politician, he ain't new. He's the same as the last guy, you know, didn't GW. He, didn't he stress that during the State of the Union, that peace shit and how peace, America peace. is doing better now than is, you know? Every State of the Union address is goddamn same. It's a witchcraft, a spell he's throwing It's a people. spell, right, it's a spell using them words Devils. to hypnotize you, man. Reading off a teleprompter. Ain't nothing man. genuine or... Oh, man. Is that someone from Outcast? <laughs> What's up, man? Nothing. You fighting them demons with that stick? Yeah. Oh, crazy. <laughs> get him. <laughs> get him. Get, get them motherfuckers. <laughs> behind you, behind you. That's beautiful. Like I like that. I like that. I like that. Good. Come on, let me get him. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Satan. Yeah, Satan. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, I want to. I want to thank y'all for keeping the neighborhood safe, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Have a good day, Zimmerman. Oh, they have no clue. They have no clue. Literally, they have no clue. He was like, we, we was really proud of them protecting the community and shit. They had no clue. That's amazing. What's up, man. Satan? What's up, Honky? <laughs> My home. <laughs> I know that I got a fuck thing like the chemistry, the, the brain and the chemistry for a hot second. <laughs> well, they into some weird shit, bro. Now, let's get this. Uh, let's get this scripture. Right. <laughs> Satan gonna make it so we don't get this scripture out. Right, right. Might be trolling people too much. <laughs> <laughs> Satan's right. imposter. <laughs> okay, you know, and, and Satan came also among them to present himself shit. before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From which comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. So here it is. Notice how Satan never speaks until he is spoken to. Did <laughs> Satan just start talking like, Most high, what you doing? Yeah, yeah right, right. They ain't never out of line. He only speaks when, and when spoken to. Right. And then he replies, Most high asked him a question. And he answers the question. Immediately. Meet you. Yeah. Hey. What you want? He, he didn't say, what, he, <laughs> right, he, he right, didn't right, say, right. Did, he, did Satan say it's none of your business? No. He yeah, he knows they get good schools out here. A lot of, before I came into the truth and all that, a lot of people made it seem like they was equal. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Satan yeah. and most high. the most high yeah. Yeah. was equal. Yeah. Damn. That's how he was. Oh able to no! Take that's how the, the churches angel. make it. Yeah, that's that's how, yeah they that's try to. What I'm they try to make it look like the Most High and Satan is two sides of a coin. Right. Like exactly. like Satan is the dark and the Lord is the light. Right. Let me but bring that, this. Let me bring this out real quick, man. Before we even before I read more of this, but this is part of the the the, the rat Talmud. It's a book. It's a book book in the Talmud. Uh, the Baba Mazia, uh 56b. Damn, yeah, there's like 50 damn books in the town. Book. Right. It says, a rabbi debates the most high. No, a rabbi, a rabbi debates God and defeats him. Yeah, that's madness. God admits the rabbi won the, the, the debate. Yeah, because they say the rabbis have more knowledge than the most high. Mm -hmm. They are they mad. And they're, they're out they their mind? fucking mind. How do they mind? That's why they're going to have their eyes burning their holes Ooh. and their tongue yep. dissolved in their yep. mouth. Yep. Yep. That's why the Lord yep. said in the gospel, he said, call no man rabbi. There is but one that is rabbi, and that is Christ. Or the one you call Jesus, your house shot. That's right. That's plain. You ain't nobody supposed to call themselves rabbi. How the hell they going to defeat the most high of the faith? Let me bring out his Isaiah real The quick. most high is actually controlling every goddamn word they say. Every word they say. I'm going to bring out his scripture real quick to show you that, like he was talking about, how do a lot of these Christians make it look like Satan and the Most High is equal? Like, you know, Satan is the dark and the Lord is the light. That's just not true. Isaiah 45 and 7. That's what the Lord said. Actually, let me start at 6. Actually, let me start at 5. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee. Though thou hast not known me, our people don't know the most high. They a bunch of uh they a bunch of wicked bastards. He said, uh, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. He said, There's none beside me. Mm. I am the Lord and there is none else. He said, There's there's no Satan. Well, Satan has no power. He said, I form the light and create the darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. <laughs> That's clear. So the Lord creates the light and the darkness. Here you go. This here you go. This is Romans 9 and 21. Have not the... Let me, no. Let me start at 20. That's <laughs> how so you always got to do. You got to back up. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. I like that, though. Yeah, just doing I like that, though. That means you can read. You know? <laughs> that will say then unto me, why doth he get find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay. 
nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that repliest against the Most High? Homeless motherfuckers, they always down here raising hell. They're always down here drunk as fuck raising hell. These cops spend most of the time going after the homeless. Oh shit. They chasing something up there. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. I like this. Did you hear about they shut uh oh, you know oh, they had shit. that big homeless uh shut up in the books? They here. made like a homeless like oh. village out behind uh Best Memorial. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no, I'm talking about the word the homeless set up camp. No, it's not a building. It's like it's, it's, it's like some shit. They, it's it's like shit. some shit. The homeless people they made, but the government came and shut it down. Yeah. No, they shut it down. They destroyed it. and four the Lord hath made all things for himself yea even the wicked for the day of evil that's nice that's where I'm at too bro that's the spirit right the Lord made that's the, the wicked the Lord created Satan that's right the Lord created Esau just to fuck up Jacob what was that again uh Proverbs 16 and 4 okay the, the Lord created the so called Jew the devil he, he, he allowed this devil to put us on slavery Switch. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. Woo. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Right, so the Lord created the peace and, and, and war and the evil and the light and the darkness. Mm. That's plain, man. Ain't no getting around that. Right. Here you go, Romans 9, back to Romans 9 and 20. Nay, but oh man, who are they? Thou that replies against the Most High, shall the thing form say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? <laughs> Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another vessel unto dishonor? Oh, right, that's talking about, well, you got the honorable vessel, uh, the Israelites. Israelites, and the dishonorable vessel is the Edomites, the devil, the children of Satan. And his casting couch of the uh, other nations. <laughs> what oh, if the yeah. Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? Esau, vessels of wrath, Esau going to be destroyed. He's going to go into slavery. His children are going to go into slavery. We're going to bash his little babies to pieces. We're going to take little Edomite babies by the ankles, smash their brains up against the rocks. Throw them in the street, throw them off a cliff, feed them the lions. All that. All that with them. Uh -huh. All that with them. Oh, yeah, all yeah, that with yeah, Right, because that's what double. they did to us. Yeah, they're going to get double. Just double. like what the Romans mm -hmm. did to the. Uh, you can watch document. They got documentaries. They show you what the Romans did to Christians. They fed them to the lions. Uh, the Emperor Nero, he's an Edomite. He'd take, take uh, Israelites, he'd dip them in oil, put them on a post, and burn them and use them uh, to light their parties. He, he would turn Israelites into, into lamps, light, into torches, lamps. Yeah. into torches. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd be sitting, and he'd have a whole row of you lighting up a party. Who say, who you say did that? The Emperor Nero. Nero. How Nero. He's the, he's spoken of, and uh, he's the one that killed Paul. That's how you know that and there Peter. be spiritual powers involved. Because how can you double that? How can you double them being uh, or children to like gators, alligators? Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. like, you would think that's the ultimate right there. 
We gonna be doing crazy you, that's shit. That's what I'm saying. How can you double that? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be putting Edomites on cattle poles. And we gonna have <laughs> contests <laughs> shooting the party. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get down. We gonna get down. We gonna get down. We gonna get Yeah, we gonna have a. Are we gonna drop them out of planes? We have a big ass bullseye on the ground. We ain't gonna need planes. We can fly. Yeah, just take them up. We like gonna have, we gonna, yeah, we gonna have contests. We can get closer to the bullseye. We gonna have some spikes around it and shit. Y'all yeah. seen that on him? Yeah. When he yeah. threw, when he threw the little, the little kid up in the air. Uh, oh yeah, he just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he caught him though. Yeah. Uh, we ain't gonna catch him. We ain't gonna catch him. He threw, he threw this little motherfucker up to like the space somewhere. Yeah, we we, we gonna play football with Edomite babies. Right. That'd be funny. Then you gonna spike the ball when you get a touchdown? <laughs> right, right, right. He gets your curl. Is that right? No, I'm just saying. She got big old hip curves, man. She got them hips and them curves. Curves, man. Not them curves. Yeah, we're gonna get creative with these goddamn devils. She look like one of your queens. <laughs> we treat women like queens, okay? They're princesses and queens. Don't let no one else tell you different. <laughs> <laughs> this is Psalms 149 and um, 6. Let the high praise of the Most High Yahweh, the Hashem Yahweh Shai, be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. A two edged sword in their hand. I love this script. It was, this script is beautiful, man. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. So we're going to execute vengeance upon the heathen, man. Mm. Mm. And punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Right, because you don't kill a king. Right, that goes against the, the rules. You humiliate. Right, kings do not get killed. Wolf child. Right, right you, we're not killing us. Yeah, you're not allowed to kill kings. They go into slavery. Prince Harry and all, all these devils. And them rat babies they have them. And the rabbis. <laughs> they going to be in chains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hose you mother we gonna hose you smelly bastards down with the hose too. <laughs> yeah, you motherfuckers ain't stinking up the place. Right. We're gonna hose your ass down. Right. Yeah, they don't never they don't never bathe. We we was reading in uh was that the 13 tribe, how they don't never wash their clothes. Mm -hmm. They they wear the same clothes until they fall to pieces. Right. Two goddamn stingy devices. Yeah, that's how they, they wear their clothes until they they wear them fall hot into ass pieces. You just know, like, until it disintegrates. You, you see them garments they wear, <laughs> them, them black clothes, they all hot. They wear them in the summertime, be hot as fuck. They wearing this thick heavy coat, sweating. They all oh. nasty and stinking. <laughs> They wash that shit in fucking 20 years. And this is time of the year. Remember they said that they, they don't never do a winter? They especially do not bathe in the winter. Mm -hmm. They might take a couple baths a year, but never in the winter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They some smelly fucks. And then they got the doo-doo curls too. Those are locks. That's nasty too with them Jamaicans and Rast uh, Rastafari do. With them dreadlocks is nasty, man. You snake. don't wash That's your hair. That's what reminds me of a snake, a dead garter snake. But it's dreadful. Snake it's a dreadlock. Yep. Yep. Dreadlocks are disgusting. The only way to get dreadlocks is to not wash your hair. Yep. That's fucking nasty. Yep. That's the ways of the heathen right there. Okay, That's only something a heathen would do. So, so if anybody got some goddamn dreadlocks claiming they teaching the Bible, you know that's Satan, man. You need to run far <laughs> away from them. Because they going to come out talking about Heli Selassie. Ellie Selassie, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Yeah, and they said Ellie Selassie never died. They never found his body. Mm -hmm. You know, they say he's, they try to say Ellie Selassie's the, the Lord in the reincarnation. That's, how can the Lord be reincarnated if he never died? Well, he died, rose from the dead, then he got received by a chariot and went to sit on the right hand side of the Father. Mm -hmm. And he said, when you see me coming back, I'm coming back the same way I left. We already read that in Acts, the first chapter. Don't you know above um, Holly Selassie's uh, grave, there's, uh, there's, there's public uh, restrooms above, built above it. No, hold on. Ain't, ain't this guy an Elamite? He's an Elamite. So, he's an that Elamite. is totally just and they got, dumb as hell because he's not going to re be reincarnated in no heathen. Right. <laughs> Looking like, like a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that, that's, that's out the window right there. That don't make no sense. He was kissing the Queen of England's uh, uh, ring. Yeah, he was kneeling down too before. So you gonna yeah. tell me that the king, the king of lords, is gonna 
is gonna bow down to the Queen of England and kiss her ring. The Edomite oh, at God, that. God. That ain't make no sense. You know what? We gonna cut that bitch's hand off in the king. You might gonna kiss that shit. Nah, I ain't kiss her. That, right. that bitch is scary. That's looking. an ugly bitch, man. <laughs> she is scary. That's an ugly bitch, man. She was. She wasn't even pretty when she was young. Hell no. She wasn't even pretty then, man. Oh, drinking all that children's blood really took its toll on her. Sure as fuck did. Look at Hillary Clinton now. Oh, that that bitch. bitch was pretty when she was young, but that bitch is, she aged quick as hell. Aged quick as hell, man. You know that bitch got hairy titties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, hairy titties. <laughs> <laughs> they said she had her math like, I don't know that's I don't know if that's true, bro. Yeah, that bitch some had kids. Yeah, I was, you know, you know, there's a lot of crazy shit out there. I won't doubt say. it. I won't doubt it. Hey, you bro. never know, man. Go there with it. I won't there's doubt it. There's some weird though. shit going on in this world. Some strange yeah, shit. Weird, like, anything goes in America. Man. Cause I look at Michelle Obama, man. It looks like it's two of them, man. It look like it's actually two hey, of them bitches, man. You got people that talk about clones. How they got clones out there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they got body doubles. There's a lot of motherfuckers saying yeah, they got, that. Yeah, uh, sure uh, oh. Michelle could be a trans. Yeah, man. Sure, yeah, you yeah. know, back in the ancient world, the emperors and stuff always had doubles. Well, hell, they did. Hitler had doubles. A, 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 a Jinnah Jay had a double. Yeah, they got doubles. They, uh, Saddam Hussein had doubles. They try to say that Hitler that died in Germany in World War II. They try to say that wasn't Hitler, that was his double that, got, that died. Hey, I won't doubt it because that's a wall child. They probably put his ass up. Yeah, you never know. They probably put, right, you never know. It's a weird man. world, man. It's weird world. It's a strange ass it, planet. It, no, man. I guarantee you, Obama's got yeah. doubles. Yeah. I guarantee that, that's planet, what they do man. for security. They even showed you that in, the, in Star Wars. But Star Wars is, you know, the, the episode one, they had that princess, she had a double in that movie, it looked just like her. Well, I gotta use the Star Wars analogy because people are stupid. Now for being a concubine. Yeah, you want to fill out an application? Uh, Hogs. <laughs> we always accept applications. <laughs> no turn backs. Yeah. There's plenty of work. <laughs> and That's they, right. And each one of them hugs probably got fucking like, no training. Mm -hmm. Chlamydia and shit. Mm -hmm. That's oh, real, man. very, very, real, very cool. Chlamydia. Man. Oh, man. Chlamydia. Chlamydia. Clap. You know, that, really, that really brings you down when you hear that. That chlamydia is the popular shit, though. Yeah, it's really people. like eight, eight, what, like, what is that saying? Like eight out of ten people and yeah. shit. Like, What's the difference? Here it is. You, Look, you, you just read this. Oh, yeah, yeah there it is. Just you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just, when you get with a bitch, I would say woman, but when you get with one of these bitches and these hoes, you just gotta say a prayer. <laughs> so the Lord, yeah, the Lord protects you, man. Yeah, sure. You right. do gotta say a prayer, man. The, help, I That's mean. True. Like, That's true. Cause you could you could have sex with a woman that has AIDS, but the Lord is with you. You won't catch it. I'm not saying to go out there. I know this bitch got AIDS, and I'm still going to fuck her. Hit it anyway. Oh, you I'm no. the tip of her side like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going too far. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the the Lord. Like that now. I make mean, it. I like women, but actually, I don't even deal with women that much. I spend most of my time studying. I'm a hermit. I don't never leave the house. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I like the tip. If I get a bitch, I'll order one on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what, but you know, I ain't paying for no pussy either. Hell no. I am. I ain't taking you out to dinner. We ain't going to the movies. I ain't doing all that. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak you in the house about 11 at night. <laughs> well, I don't, you know, well, if she look good, I might, if you look good, I might bring you over in the daytime. Let me meet my mom. Uh, nah, ain't none of them hoes meet my mom. <laughs> My mom would probably like him and invite him over for dinner. Oh shit, <laughs> that's going too far. Yeah, without you, you know. knowing. <laughs> I like. But like you come, a, you come uh, home. Invite her so so. Look at this bitch right there looking at you. <laughs> 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 Shit, you should see my mom be getting, she got all kind of little girlfriends, fine ass hoes be hanging around my mom, man. Like, god damn, mom, why don't you hook me up? <laughs> you got 
got the same shirt as you wear. Oh, no, don't say that. Don't, <laughs> Honestly, don't expose me, man. Expose me. They're going to make a video about me. <laughs> They're going to have, they gonna have a, a Columbus camp exposed. Oh. <laughs> this is a Proverbs 23 and uh, 26. My son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe many ways. For a whore is a deep ditch. A whore is a deep ditch. <laughs> like, like your dude Eric way back in there. I told you that dude. We stayed up, me and Dave stayed up teaching the Bible, debating the Bible with his two-thirder <laughs> for like eight hours straight till like seven in the morning. We was up all night till the sun came up. And he told us that the, the, the bottomless pit in Revelation was a woman, the black woman's pussy. <laughs> but every time I hear that scripture, that made, cause he, I think he used that as a precept. Wow. He's like, she go. <laughs> wow. Anyway, God, that's a deep ditch, boy. <laughs> for a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Hey, read that again real loud. My son, uh, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my Listen ways. Listen to the scripture. For a whore is a deep ditch. A whore is a deep ditch. And a strange woman is a narrow pit. A narrow pit. <laughs> she also lieth in wait as for prey and increaseth the transgressors among men. Yeah, this whore is a deep ditch. Well, it's really mean a deep ditch. I mean, you can apply it to that pussy too. You hit it, ain't got no walls. You can't even feel it. Like, God damn, bitch. Bitch been getting fucked by bowling pins and horses. And you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna phase that pussy. Sugar walls been wore out. Yeah, that's all. But we're, we're just talking about a ditch, too, as a woman is a, uh, they're a trap. You're gonna get trapped like falling in the pit. You know what I mean? They lure you in. And then uh, they just wanna rob. But most of these women just wanna get your money. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no money, so you ain't gonna get me for shit. The only thing I got is love. <laughs> I don't even got that. <laughs> you know, bitch ain't just gonna love you for who you are. No, like, I want a bitch happen. to love me for me. No, that's not happening. It ain't happening. That's fantasy land. You fantasy, you dreaming. I think a woman is gonna love you because you, you. Love you for your Zara work. They gonna love you for yeah, your personality. Yeah. Get the that's fuck very, out of that's here. That's very, very yeah. land right there. I mean, it's weird. possible. No, it's possible, but not that part. That's that bus, look. They go straight to Chicago, yeah. though. Does it really? Yeah. Plus a reservation fee for one dollar. And in that room, made by Coda. Yeah, it gets more places to go. Yeah. It's real cheap too. It's real. It's like a dollar. It's one dollar plus a reservation fee. It take your ass to Chicago, Cincinnati. But who the fuck wants to go to Chicago? Not me. Right. War zone. I feel sorry for you, brother. Well, actually, I don't feel sorry for you. Y'all doing good. You got brothers teaching the Bible in Chicago. Now, that that should look like some raggedy shit out there. That's man. a giant camp in Chicago. Yeah, that came with shoes. Man, I, I like watching their videos, man. Yeah, I love the Chicago. Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah, love the Chicago camp. Yeah, they be coming out. They got all kind of. You know what I mean, I mean, you learn stuff from everybody, man. Mm -hmm. So sure do. I watch a lot of different camps when I get the time. Yeah, I can't watch all of them. I'm watching a video or two. There's so many camps, you can't watch all those videos. It's just too many, man. It's too, too many. many. Especially if you're doing the work constantly like we doing the work. We got videos constantly going up. Constantly going up every week, every week. That's how you know the true men of the Lord. They're constantly putting up the work of the Lord, man. And you see the wicked, they take three months off here, six months off there, a year off here. Like your boy uh, that fell out of GMS on. Oh, season. The, um, the horse head nigga. The horse head nigga. Um, Izar. Izar. He, he ain't put up video and he, he done ran out. He's out of it, he's gone. He, you know? he ran out of gas. Yup, yeah, sure the fuck did, ran out. Oh, well, that's why I can't wait to see what happens. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> Your boy Gorilla Hebrew, man. He, <laughs> Gorilla Hebrew. He never made a spectacle of. Oh, man, he did, man. Mm -hmm. man made a mm -hmm. spectacle He got clown on so, hard, man. man. He, hey, he well, one, one minute right he was riding high, chilling mm -hmm. with Sai. Get Proverbs 13. Could you get that, please? Yep. He was riding high, he was doing doing good with uh, I'm the black news and getting all kind of hits. Mm. Now everybody's laughing at his ass. And that shit's funny, man. Cause I like comedy. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm. like watching Hollywood movies. I like watching the elders clown on people. Yeah, it's gonna get even funnier when his destruction comes. Yeah, right, I, I can't wait. When the physical destruction comes. 
Cause we gonna laugh too. Like, Damn right. Just like we remember, when, you remember when Michael Jackson died and we actually got drunk and got fucked up that night <laughs> yeah. and celebrated. Yeah, yeah. We had a party when Michael Jackson died. We, we did sure that did every night. Too. We <laughs> sure did. We <laughs> sure did. <laughs> yeah, we don't need a good excuse. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but when Michael Jackson Shit. died, man, that was a we was a, we was a joyous moment in the history. Right. What a better example of a wicked nigga, Michael Jackson. He was happy when he died. And he's man. people's savior, man. He's people actually here, you know. He's the <laughs> god to these people, man. And there's some people, people, couple people that committed suicide after he died from his death. <laughs> you know? Not dead. Well, you see the video, Michael Jackson videos. He be out there. He be, uh, well, first of all, when he danced, he grabbed his nuts with the baffle with the devil horns. Right, <laughs> right. You see him do that? Yeah, yeah. But if he'll show you the concert footage. Uh, if he touches a girl, don't have a heart attack. Don't, pass the fuck out, <laughs> don't yeah. pass out. Pass the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. 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 They get so excited just because Michael Jackson touched them. Mm -hmm. right. And they just go in an epileptic shock. I mean, them demons passing on. Yeah, that's a demon. Like, that's uh, what it is. Like on that movie with that's Denzel spiritual. Washington falling. Oh, falling. When oh, they be rubbed yeah, against yeah, yeah, him, yeah, they uh, start making it. A hazel? Yeah. A hazel, the demon of hazel, or something like that. Because Michael yeah. Jackson knew all about this. Uh, there's this one video I was watching. He was, up, he was up in a store in the mall in Las Vegas, and he was talking about this picture on the wall. He's like, oh, that's Apollo. Apollo's bathing or something, I forget. He knew all about yeah, it. Yeah, he knew all about them false gods. He was all into that shit. The idol worship. The idol worship. Hey, go ahead, bring that give me Proverbs 13 and 1. Proverbs. Proverbs 13 and 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction. A wise son heareth his father's what instruction. You across the street. But a scorner heareth not rebuke. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, Look where the belt is, tight. <laughs> you go. How does that even stand up? That's not, that's not so Velcro? <laughs> he got Velcro. <laughs> that's, how does it stand up for real? He's a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's, hey, that's Jake, man. Hey, go read, read that. He ain't following his father's instruction. Hell no. Hell. Proverbs 13 and 1. <laughs> a wise son heareth his father's instruction. For so the scorner. Your boy Gorilla Hebrew, he didn't uh, follow the father's instruction. Every video he was talking about, oh, double honors to the elders, apostles, the root well. Keep going. But a scorner heareth not rebuke. No, he didn't hear no rebuke. Oh, when the, when the, uh, when the elders rebuked him, Instead of him not taking the rebuke, he, he made a billion goddamn videos talking shit. And he had like all kind of videos and evidence, so-called evidence is on deck waiting to, he couldn't wait to put that shit out. Like he put up a, uh, you see that picture they put up a uh, Elder Ricard with the, with the biker jacket? Right. Like who gives a fuck? Right, who gives a fuck? I'm wearing an Ohio State shirt, am I going off? Hey, <laughs> exposed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Can you more to that? Proverbs 13 and 2. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. So you're saying good things, you're teaching the right thing, you're going to do good. Keep going. But the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. Shall eat violence. So like the brother over here is talking about your uh, boy, uh, what's his name, Gorilla Hebrew? He going to eat violence. He going he going to end violent. His, his his life is going end violently according right. according to the words of the Lord. Pain. Right. Keep going. We will read a whole chapter. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. He that keep who he that keepeth his mouth shall keep his life. That means you run in your mouth all the time, constantly talking shit about people you ain't supposed to be talking shit about. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna lose your life. Keep going. But he that open, openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. He, right, he, he, boy, he opened wide his lips, didn't he? Talking all kind of shit. He got all kind of people talking shit about the men of the Lord. So all these people are running their mouth talking shit about us, making videos about us. Y'all gonna get destroyed. You gonna get fucked up. Keep going. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing. 
but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Yeah, diligent. Keep going. A righteous man hateth lying. A righteous man hateth lying. Mm -hmm. But a wicked man is lo loathsome and cometh to shame. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. Wickedness overthrows the sinner. Keep going. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself there is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. Right, that's us. We're poor, but we have great riches. But you got people out there like uh, like your boy hanging out with Saad Netter, all those people trying to get money. But they have nothing. They have nothing. You get nothing. What's that, Willy Wonka? Good day, sir. You lose. You get nothing. <laughs> you see that shit at the end of Willy Wonka? Keep going. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. Keep going. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Oh, the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. That's why when these fools fall off and they stop teaching the truth, little by little, like you said, they wax worse and worse and they lose that oil. And slowly, they light to slowly start going out. First, they got that big bright light, that lamp is shining, but they, they ain't got no oil. They only got like one canister of oil, and that's all they got. They ain't got no refills, you know what I'm saying? So that lamp just goes out. The wick just burns out. And then they go try to come and take some of our oil. And we be like, nah, we ain't got none. You have to go get your own oil. <laughs> yeah, that's a parable in the gospel. Keep going. Only by pride cometh contention. Only by, see that? By pride cometh contention, right? It's like it's like he can like a contender. He think he gonna contend for the for the belt, the championship or something. Talking about he was holding this shit in, you know. He and that's, take it no more. That, that's good. That's some like that's like a uh, thing like some boxing. You got some bum off the street. Think he gonna go fight uh, Mayweather or Bruh, something? I deserve to be champion. I, that's like one of those know. jobbers. You watch wrestling, wrestling. I'm trying to think of a good example. That's like uh, some little pipsqueak. Trying to fight superstar Billy Graham at his prime, uh, you know what I mean? You, you ever watch wrestling? You got them nobodies. You don't even know, never even heard of them. Right, they get the right. shit beat out of them in like two seconds. Right. Huh? Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Oh no, I mean, he, he, his father though, mm -hmm. a big faggot. <laughs> yeah, oh that dude really, Hebrew's father is a big faggot. Yeah, but he's a jobber. You're a jabroni. You know, a jobber, a jabroni. You, you know what a jabroni is, a jobber? What's up, Ham? What's up? <laughs> what was that about? Oh, man. Come here, man. Come here. All right. Let me finish my spiel. In, in wrestling, you got something, in professional wrestling, you got wrestling slang. <laughs> you can look it up on Wikipedia and give you all the slang. You got, you ever hear The Rock call people jabroni? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what that means? Yeah. It's a job. He called, when, it, when The Rock called somebody a jabroni, that meant he had slang for a jobber. A jobber is a wrestler that gets paid just to get his ass whooped. Just to make the superstar look good. You know what I'm saying? He's just a nobody, he has no talent. You're gonna go in the ring, you're gonna get your ass beat in 30 seconds. That's a jobber. That's a jabroni. That's Gorilla Hebrew. Mm -hmm. You a jabroni. That's why Rock be like, so your role, jabroni. <laughs> I keep going, we're gonna get more to that. Proverbs 13. Proverbs 13 and 10. Only by pride yeah, could have been that, that dude could have been a Jake, huh? You think? Yeah. The first, he didn't talk like a heathen. Come on, fuck. Go ahead. Proverbs 13 and 10. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. With the well advised is wisdom. We ain't going out here trying to start shit with our the people who taught us. Like we're gonna talk shit. Here it is. It's like I taught you something. Now all of a sudden, that you know more than me. What kind of sense does that make? Keep going. Wealth get wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. 
keep going. But he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Right, that's the real, we laboring right now, keep going. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. Yep. But so when holy. the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. That's that, that's that preacher. Keep going. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. Oh, whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. I don't go back to your boy Gorilla Hebrew. He had a problem with the Deuteronomy 22nd chapter. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be destroyed. Keep going. <laughs> Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Yep. So any of these any of you fools out here, if you despise the words of the Bible, you're gonna be destroyed. 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 Keep going. The law of the wise is a foundation of life. Yeah, the law, the, what, read that again. Proverbs 13 and that, 4. That's a good scripture. The law of the wise is the foundation of life. The, a fountain of life, don't it say that? Oh, fountain, fountain. fountain yeah, yeah, fountain. Right, because like this word is water. It's the rivers of living water, you know what I'm saying? It's like water is, you, if you don't drink water, you can't live. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. The snares of death. Good understanding giveth favor. 